where we've been where we combine travel and coffee. Join us as we head to the northern part of the Kruger. In this episode, we will be travelling to the Kruger National Park. We will be leaving from Pretoria, travelling all the way to Tanin. We will be sleeping over at St George's Guest House. From there, we will head to the Kruger National Park, where our first camp will be the Lataba Rest Camp. From Lataba Rest Camp, we will be travelling to Willifant's Rest Camp. And from Willifant's Rest Camp, we will be travelling to Satara. And from Satara, all the way back home. This episode is proudly sponsored by Kugle Environment and Consult. Good morning guys, welcome to another episode of uh, where we've been. We're going to the Kruger again. So what happened is we decided, we actually, we didn't plan on going anywhere in December. And then on short notice we decided, well, let's do another trip somewhere. And the Kruger was another option and we chose the Kruger just to continue our whole Kruger adventures videos. So we're heading today, we're here actually in Tanin. So we already left Pretoria, we slept in Tanin. And now we're on our way to the Kruger. We're gonna enter Polabovo Gate, head to Lataba, then to Olifant and Sitara and head back home again. So enjoy all the videos. Cheers. So guys, we just arrived at Palabova Gate. We've checked in. It was a very, very quick process. And now we're on our way to look for a nice picnic site and head to Lataba. Yeah, so let's see what we can find. It's very rainy, it's cold. So we hope for the best. Cheers. And after that, I think the whole bush felt was awake. And as usual, the first animal you find in the Kruger is the Impala. Thank you, welcoming committee. The North really has beautiful landscapes. This was also the time of the year when the Mopani worms were very very active and feeding on the Mopani trees. So we just made a quick stop at Sable Hide and we're just gonna have a look what we can see over here. Uh, the road has been being a uh, bit quiet um, but yeah hopefully we see something over here otherwise we need to go fill our tummies get some breakfast in or brunch at this stage and see what we can find in the distance so what I've actually learned about this hide is that it's actually called the sable sleep over hide and it's just situated about 10 kilometers from the Palabova gate and it provides you with this unique nightlife experience in the Kruger National Park right next to a dam. I would highly recommend to try this out because we will definitely be trying this out in the next Kruger adventure. Now come and join me as we explore how this hide looks like inside. just stopped at the uh, Mazarini picnic or archaeological site which has a picnic uh, area so we're just gonna have a quick brunch and then we're gonna hit the road again all the way to the far one just see what we can find but what's interesting or what's nice about this picnic 
for this. It's got these boulders lying around with uh, some cliff thrown on the boulder and some dusties. And it's very quiet compared to the southern part of the Tula. One tradition me and Donnie started was that in the Kruger, he's the one making the breakfasts. And you know, with so much bacon, it can't be a bad breakfast. What we've realized from our trip to the northern part of the Kruger is that the animals are very much more skittish than the animals in the south and there's a lot of elephants so prepare yourself for a lot of elephant sightings which I love just look at the sass of this matriarch mother Mianei was definitely enjoying herself with all of the elephant sightings. Yes, <laughs> yes I was. And then it was time to spend some time with some pajama donkeys. This was a treat. Usually you just see them dash off into the grass. Like this. This guy or girl had me thinking that I was recording in slow motion. So we just arrived at the Tarbo Race Camp, we booked in, uh, packed out and yeah, now we're just strolling around the camp, we're gonna visit the museum and then we take it from there. Cheers! We have to apologize for showing no footage of the museum, but we totally forgot to capture any footage because we were so flabbergasted by the cool facts and how cool the museum is. But when you visit Letaba, do yourself a favor and go visit the museum and learn a lot about the Ellies. So Donnie, what was that? Man, I just had a fright. What was that thing? Was it a it snake? It was a little rock monitor. I thought it was a snake. <laughs> Are you still a guy there? Yes. Are you gonna I, just have have a, I just had a great big fright. <laughs> I like an elephant that's scared of a mouse. And after having a nice stroll around camp, it was time for our afternoon drive. We just stopped at the bridge where you're allowed to get out. It's just outside of Letaba, crossing the Letaba River. It's very awesome to get out here because now you can experience the smells which is very strong um, and the views yeah it's just better to be outside of the vehicle than in the vehicle so enjoy the views you don't always just see a lot of Elephants. You also see a lot of hippos outside of the water.
Sometimes I just wonder what goes through Hippo's mind when they just stand and stare like that. From a lazy hippo to an angry elephant. He wasn't like hold my beer or my earrings, he was like hold my trunk. No matter the attitude, we just love spending time with him. And now meet this elephant that takes his time to move down the hill. It was quite cute. As the elephant reached the bottom of the hill, we also reached our destination. And that was the end of our first day. Good morning guys, it is our second day in the Kruger National Park. We just woke up, had a shower, made some quick coffee, and now we're gonna hit the road and see what we can find. Then we're gonna come back, make some breakfast, and hit the road again. So enjoy the scenes. Hopefully we see much more than yesterday. Then it was time to have a morning walk with this elephant. This is one of the many walks we're gonna have throughout the trip. Enjoy! There's something special when there's an overcast in the Kruger. It's like all the animals are just having a nice relaxing day. meditative to watch the elephant use his trunk 
to get the nicest bowl of greens for the day. It must be really nice, especially with all the trees around you that are so much easier to come by. I assume that this Ahina was on its way to a snack because it was in such a hurry. And what is a Kruger visit without these guys? It's always fun to watch them because they are always joking around. Or in this case, just stuffing their cheeks with a lot of food. The impalas in the north are so scarce that we just had to capture them on camera. And once again, on our routine daily walk with Mr. Elephant. Then it was time to join these two Daga Bulls for a mud spa. This buffalo made it look so nice I wanted to join him. And we reached our favorite cat, Olifants. We arrived at Olifant Camp, our second camp for this trip that we will be spending our night at, our second night at. Um, it's the camp with the best view ever. It's got views for days. You can just look even behind me. It's, it's a never ending view and you've got the nice uh, Olifant River running past it. And yeah, we haven't seen a lot of things today uh, but it's also we haven't driven around a lot but hopefully this afternoon we'll see something special or we'll make it up tomorrow when we head up to Sitara but the best thing is just enjoying this view and just take it all in just. so we decided what better place to watch game than from our stoop this is by far one of the most beautiful sunsets Good morning everyone, welcome to where you've been. It is our third day in the Kruger National Park. We woke up, made coffee, packed the car and now we are ready to head off. But yeah, it's sad to say goodbye to this beautiful, beautiful view. If you ever want to come to the Kruger, I would highly recommend Olifant uh, Race Camp. The views are just amazing. You've got, especially if you've got bungalow number one, you can see the sun rise and you can see the sun set. It's so beautiful. Just come and visit this place and yeah, we will head now to Satara and hopefully we'll see the lions that we heard this morning. I really hope so. So hold your thumbs and here we go.
and then you were greeted by the nice water bag. Seems like all the hyenas that we came across on this trip were on a mission to somewhere. And they were on a mission to make Dani believe that they're alive. And I do not know how Dani spotted these hairs in the bushes. It's because I was focusing on finding those lions. Every rock also looked like a lion to Dani. So we just spotted a leopard or we were told there's a leopard just under the tree over there. Yeah, I think Miana, you will wingle it. But there was a leopard just over there, chilling it out. Yeah, and you're allowed to get out on the bridge. So this is awesome. You're allowed to stretch your legs, get out and watch the leopard. But enjoy the rest. Cheers. I must say it was quite something to experience a sighting of a leopard with other people also climbing out of the vehicles and showing them where the leopard is.
magnificent to see how elephants just seem to find water. Um, there's also some studies that say they can smell water. It's interesting that as we move more to the southern part of the Kruger, the more animals we see. It's like some people would say that the north is the true Kruger and the south is the zoo. And just like that, I had two passengers in the car but it was quickly safely removed. We thought this was just a lone Ellie, but when we came around the corner, it was Ellie's everywhere. And the best of it all was, there were small elephants in the herd. It was so awesome. It really was. Like, like, look at that. And we can't only walk with elephants, we need to have a quick walk with Mr. Tortoise. And this guy is a master in overlanding. I mean, he carries his rooftop tent everywhere. Johnny knows when my finger points somewhere, it's either an elephant or a very pretty tree. This time, it was my lucky day. I think these hippos are lazy from being lazy.
After a quite long drive, we reached Setara. It was a very quick check-in because we just had to go find some lions. But before we take the road again, we must just take a walk with Mr. Elephant after he had a lovely mud bath. So another interesting thing from this Kruger trip was that every big alley we saw can't carry its own trunk. It needs to throw it over its own tusk just to carry its trunk. If you love elephants, the north is definitely for you. So after a long day's drive around Satara, all the way from Olifant, it is time to drive one of the most famous gravel roads around Satara or in the Kruger, known as the S100. We haven't seen lions yet. We did see a leopard this morning. So hopefully this road will produce some amazing sightings. Let's go and have a look. And believe it or not, this was the only sighting for the whole S100. We didn't even see an Impala. At least we saw this mum and her little ones on our way back home, which was pretty special.
So it's been a long day driving around looking for some lions and, and so forth but we didn't seem to find any lions but we were blessed with, some, with a sighting of a jackal and her little pups and now is the time just to enjoy a nice braai and just take it all in before we head home tomorrow again. Cheers! So first in the road we were, on our way to finding some lions. This was literally one of the closest fish eagle sightings that I've ever experienced. In the smallest things you can find the most beauty sometimes. We just had to check in with Mom Jackal and her pup before heading to Satara, go back and head all the way back home. Looks like this hyena found him some kind of chew toy. It was difficult to see what it was because it was quite in the distance, but he was enjoying himself. And then it was time to see another one of the big five. Still no lions. I know that you're curious, I know that you're strong, but life can be furious and things can go wrong. You go, you go, we're better off tomorrow, but who knows, who knows, if we get joy or sorrow. Good morning, it is our last day in the Kruger National Park. Uh, we got up very early at about half past four this morning, went for a drive, but we had no luck in seeing lions or any leopards. We, luckily we did see uh, hyena and jackal, but nothing predator-wise that we want to see. Um, so yeah, but uh, we are about to head out, we're on our way to the open gate. We just made a quick stop here at the Bobbians Grants lookout point and we've got some enemies in the background. It's so cool. The view here is just amazing. So if you come here, visit this area, come to this lookout point. And yeah, hopefully we see some more animals on our way out. Cheers. Change your desiring what you can control. We fly, we fly, try so hard together and we 
Our Kruger trip has finally come to an end. It's so sad to leave this awesome, awesome place. But nevertheless, we'll be back in February visiting awesome camps. Cheers. Stay tuned for more Where We've Been adventures.